Hello, and welcome to Comprehensible Confusion, where we take the confusion in the world and make it a little bit more comprehensible. I'm Saint of Virtue, or just Saint for short, and here today we're going to be talking about the costs and warranties of items. Have you ever gone to a store, a hardware store in our case, and been like, huh, buy an axe, it's a one ingot, and two nuggets, and we get a money back guarantee. But there's also just the regular axe with a one ingot, and it normally comes with an extended warranty and most of them usually have like a small little warranty where do they get these numbers from and how do they determine that well first let's head on out and take the position of a producer first we have to acquire our opening funds you can't just start with nothing so let's get all those nuggets and first things first in order to make an axe we need to get some materials, in our case, all of that. So we need 160 nuggets total. Let's go ahead and get all those over there. Oops, actually, let's use these nuggets because that actually adds up to 160. Then we go ahead and we assemble them because, you know... Even taking the time to assemble something is a little bit of a, a cost. So here we go. In our case, we're doing it ourselves, but this could be a cost of time and effort. Boom! We've now assembled our axes. And then we got a markup, because, you know, the whole reason you have anything is to make some money. So let's go ahead and say we're marking them up. We've made 32 axes, so we're going to mark them up one nugget each. And then we get to the question, a warranty versus a guarantee. Despite the best efforts of our production crew, each axe has about a 1 in 32 chance of failure. If this happens, they will need a replacement. And this is the warranty, you know, if it comes with the product. And a guarantee is, you know, expected 120 chance to claim. You know, this would be the money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. And so that means that one out of 20 of them is just a complete flat loss. And a one in 32 means that it basically costs double to produce. Either way, it's gonna cost us an additional uh, one nugget each to produce. And then our final cost is one ingot. And it would be as if you added them all up all the way down the line and shows either the guarantee or the warranty. Now, there's also an extended warranty. Let's talk a little bit about that. An extended warranty is kind of a, a risk on top of the normal warranty. It's the ability to make some extra money in exchange for other potential loss. And when we create our product, we determine how often each product will fail in the extended warranty. And this is the product's reliability. Will it fail in, you know, three months after the warranty expires? How, ma how many of those fail? And if one in nine fail, then the base cost is going to be one ninth of the uh, cost that we sell it for. And in our case, that's one ninth of an ingot, which is a nugget. But, since this is an additional service going above and beyond, a lot of people will turn it into a little bit extra profit by saying, you know, hey, that warranty, our, our stuff's actually pretty reliable, but uh, we're going to go ahead and charge an extra nugget because there could be some paperwork or they just want to make a little extra money off of this product. And that's often the case. It's a little extra money for a little extra peace of mind, being able to turn in your item and get it uh, replaced very quickly and easily. And that's just kind of a quick little rundown on a warranty versus a guarantee. To summarize, a warranty is a replacement item within a certain period of time, and a guarantee is a replacement of the funds within a certain period of time. For a warranty, you often need to show that the item has failed 
and they'll send you a replacement. For a guarantee, they often will just ask for the item back and will get, return your money. Either way, having those two options there does overall increase the price because that means that one of your axes in 32 basically costs double because you had to produce two of them. And then one in 20 of yours basically is just a 100% lost product. You might as well toss it into the fire. Now that's just kind of a short little uh, rundown and overview of warranties and guarantees and how they contribute to the prices of things. I'm Santa Virtue, Comprehensible Confusion. Hope you've learned a little bit today and you all have a wonderful day.